once saved, always saved, is a lie that people like to believe because it gives them false security. Many people say a sinner's prayer and they promise Jesus that they will follow and obey him for the rest of their lives and then they believe they are saved but they never follow him and they never obey him they turn away from him because they believe that they are saved nobody is saved until the very end Jesus said he who endures until the end will be saved if we keep on following Jesus and we keep on obeying him until the very end of our lives then we will be saved someone asked Jesus whether those who are being saved of you and he said strive hard to enter the narrow door because many I tell you will try and not be able very few people will endure until the end very few people will follow Jesus Christ we have to follow Jesus until the end Jesus said that whoever puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not worthy of him if we start following Jesus and we long to go back to our previous life of self-satisfaction, of self-service and sin. If we love the things of the world, then we are not worthy of Jesus. And we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. There is no such thing as once saved, always saved. That is a lie. Many people make marriage vows. And they say, until death do us part. But very few of those people nowadays stay together until the very end. If we do not follow Jesus and obey him until the end, then we will not be with him for eternity. Our salvation depends on our relationship with with Jesus the day we meet him that relationship starts and the quality of that relationship will determine whether we will be with him for eternity if we have not come to know Jesus intimately because we have not closely followed him then he will say to us, go away, I never knew you, you worker of wickedness. We can only know Jesus when we walk with him every day and stay with him until the very end. Jesus will never leave us, nor will he forsake us, because he is faithful. But if we leave him, if we deny him and turn away from him, he will not hold us back. He will let us go. But when we come to the end of our lives and we stand before him, he will say to us, go away. I never knew you, you worker of wickedness. We have to endure and stay with Jesus until the very end. When we stand before his judgment throne, the books will be opened and we will be judged by what is written inside of those books. What will our book look like? What will our book say about our relationship with Jesus? Will our works testify of our relationship with Jesus, our love for Him, and our obedience to Him, because we have endured with Him until the very end. May Jesus bless you.